Hello and welcome to the Friday, June 14th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And today we got a guest diary by Kayla Reed, one of our sans.edu undergraduate interns. And well, at uh, this time, it's one of my favorite topics, command line kung fu in particular. In this case, JQ. JQ, if you aren't familiar with it, I hope you are. It's all about parsing JSON. Now, over the last couple of years, I personally changed most of my logging to JSON just because it's flexibility and because of the availability of tools like JQ, Elasticsearch and others. Learning JQ, learning how to filter, how to extract data from JSON data is certainly worthwhile and Killa provides a great introduction here in how to use this very versatile Tool. There are a couple similar tools around there. JQ still seems to be the most widely used one. And I guess we may have a new trend kind of developing, and that's after Microsoft Patch Tuesday, we got a Microsoft Proof of Concept Thursday. We do have a blog post by MorpheSec talking a little bit more about the critical outlook vulnerability being patched. Yes, I call it critical. Microsoft called it important with a CSS score of 7.7. The reason I call it critical is that according to MorpheSec, this vulnerability allows an attacker to execute arbitrary code on the victim system just by previewing an email. Now, according to Microsoft's classification, previewing the email does imply some interaction with the email, which does make exploitation less likely and does require user interaction, which is why this is not a critical vulnerability anymore. Luckily, MorpheSec did not drop an outright proof of concept. They'll give us a bit more time here and they promise more details at DEF CON. And talking about Outlook, Microsoft also announced that even personal accounts will no longer be able to use basic authentication with Outlook, basic authentication here in Microsoft's language, meaning username and password. Instead, you need to use what Microsoft calls modern authentication, which basically is multi-factor authentication, smart card, certificate-based authentication, or some third-party SAML identity provider. This also, of course, means that uh, some older clients may no longer be able to connect uh, with Outlook. Essentially, what you'll usually see is with a client that supports modern authentication is that you no longer just enter your username and password in some kind of configuration dialog in your email client. Instead, the email client will direct you to the Microsoft web page, ask you to log in, and then there will be a token returned to Outlook that is then saved in Outlook and may be used for authentication. Of course, they may expire occasionally, which means that you may have to repeat that login process ever so often. And I already mentioned a couple times in the last few weeks about the dangers of loading machine learning models from unknown sources or sources where the provenance of the particular model may not quite be that clear. The problem is that many of these machine learning models are exchanged as a pickle file, which is really just a Python code. And researchers are now waking up to the idea, idea that this is a great exploit vector. Latest example is Trail of Bits has a nice blog post out where they're co- introducing what they're calling a sleepy pickle attack. But the idea is that you're able to modify these pickle files, you're able to add additional functionality, you're able to change the weights in the machine learning model that is being transmitted here. So in short, you're able to cause all kinds of havoc. But by all means, go ahead, your boss will be much happier if you show some machine learning quickly, security, you can always add that later. Well, and that's 
it for today. Hope to see some of you at Sans Fire. It's about a month out. Now, next week, I'll be traveling somewhat. There will likely be no podcast on Wednesday and Thursday. I'll have to see how exactly the travel schedule uh, works out here. But uh, so far, Wednesday, Thursday looks like no podcast. Should still be able to put one out Monday, Tuesday and Friday. That's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.